Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampin' Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And this is the 30th episode of our Let's Play of Carrier. In the previous episode, we blew up the living hell out of Ark. And then we ran into the colonel. And he said, okay, we gotta blow up the ship. Put these explosives on all of the drainage pumps. We did two of the drainage pumps. Now we just have one more, I believe. And then we gotta go hang with the colonel. Then we gotta go hang with the colonel, and I mean, I don't trust this game, so I had to make sure I ran by the Wait, magazine. is that the right way? Uh, should be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like, had to run by the magazine, because I do not trust this game. Okay, and it said, continue down the hall to your right. You've already put two of the bombs on, right? I have. Mm -hmm. So you just need to do one more. Oh, and there's the third one right there. Yep. Just got to make sure, you know, no bad guys are... Okay. Now we want to go to engine room two. That's the last one. Now I just have to find the colonel. Okay. Engine room two. Uh, what do you think is the best way to get there? I don't know if there is a good way to get to engine room two in such a situation. Yeah, this way looks pretty good. This game has this really annoying habit of you go through a door and there's an enemy literally right there. Um, engine room two. Uh, back through this way with all those stupid skulkers. Yeah. Try to run past them. Well, he didn't even notice you. Good. Oh, Lord. I think you can run past him. I can, yeah. I just need the courage. You can do it. You see, earlier when we were running past those guys, um, you know, we um, were on full health. Um, we're not on full health right now, and Jack Ingalls runs a lot. This is Transport 101. Is anyone out there? This is Spark Sergeant Ingalls. What is your situation? We are taking care of survivors on the flight deck. By order of Spark Team Leader Colonel Burke, we're going to sink the Heimdall by detonating explosives around the water drainage system on the lowest deck. No. Why? What happened? Look, there's no time to explain the details, but we have no other choice. I see. Then we are waiting for you on the flight deck. Until then, we will get the rest of the survivors aboard. Roger. Okay. I wonder if Ark knows what we're up to. Oh, Hark knows. Just staring at us with its plant self all guiltily. Like, how could you want to kill me after all that we've been through together? <laughs> Let me guess. I need to be up there, don't I? One moment. But it said the second engine. <laughs> yeah, but like the upper and lower. That upper and lower thing, it's kind of... It's for the birds is what yeah. it's for. Who knows or cares? Don't look at us like that, Ark. I was just thinking, you know, like, uh, 
You know, maybe we could have gotten a couple beers after all this, but <laughs> nope, I, I see where I rank on the friendship <laughs> meter. The bomb is set. Good. Here it goes. We're still here. Let's get out of here. Colonel! Colonel Burke! Doctor? Go! Jack, let me handle this. I can't leave you. I'll save you. Flooding in engine room. Closing all partitions on deck six. What are you doing? Get out of here! That's an order! Colonel! The, the partitions are going to close! Hurry! Don't make my death meaningless! Colonel! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like if this was a modern game, that would be a meme. Mm-hmm. Colonel. Colonel. <laughs> I know what we're titling this episode. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hopefully finale, but... Um, turn left and head to the emergency evacuation elevator, the second on the right. The second on the right. Uh, this one? That looks like it. This is Transport 101. Spark Team, do you copy? This is Sergeant Engels. We've experienced a large shock. The detonation was successful? Yes, I'm on my way to the flight deck. You better hurry. We can't hang around here much longer. With the ship sinking, it soon will be impossible to lift off. We will wait as long as we can. If you're not there, we're leaving without you. Roger. Climb the vegetation in the Shampoo's layer. Okay. Look at our action hero boy. I don't 
know if this is a cutscene or if I have to play this. Um, Shambler is gonna be gone, but the Doc's gonna be here. Uh oh. Um, you're not trying to fight him though. Um, you want to avoid him and turn on all the red switches, five, six, seven, and eight, to open the emergency door. Okay. If I don't do something soon... Guys, I don't know. You five, don't... six, seven, eight. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do oh, we Lord. appreciate? Not, not him. <laughs> not, not, not. Still alive. <gasps> Run. Yeah, this isn't the fighting time. This is an avoiding time. <gasps> Run. Oh, God. He's faster than Shambler. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Dude, I don't think we can do this. Seven. Okay, you already did eight. Six. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, we just need... Five. Five. And then that thing next to me is the door? Yeah. Uh, no, that one was not the door. Okay, maybe it's a different door. Be that other one. Sorry. It's fine. This dock has me shook. Uh, this is literally the one I was just at. I just made a big ass circle. Five, six, seven, eight. That one? Yes! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, my heart is about to give out. Jack, are you okay? Captain, the Colonel, a monster got him. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, can you hear me? Sergeant Ingalls, are you all right? Yes. The detonation was successful. I'm headed to the flight deck. Good. Colonel Burke is with you? No. Uh, I'm afraid the Colonel didn't make it. What? The Colonel, too? I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. And me, I wasn't able to do anything. Lieutenant. No, I'll head for the flight deck. Captain Lang is preparing a transport waiting for me. I see. Then be careful. With a little luck, I'll see you later at the base. Gotcha. But be careful, Lieutenant. The opposite wall, yeah. You're gonna see Doc again. You're gonna wanna... Avoid him and dodge. You can't damage him. Okay. Still alive. So I'm just avoiding. Just dodging. And if you dodge him long enough, the problem will take care of itself. I don't want to be too spoilery. <gasps> dodge! <laughs> he ran right into me. 
Sorry, I'm shook. Um, check your health. Okay, what you're good. We should have killed the doc when we had the chance. Seriously? Yeah, do it. Isn't that big? Slowest elevator ever. are getting tired. You're certain this is the strategy? Oh, wait. Until you can nail him with a shot from the arm buster. That, that would have been good to know. Sorry. How's your health? Uh, not good. You're Please. so close to the ending, just go ahead and use it. Equip your arm buster. I don't know, I should I, I will also replenish the R Buster. So yeah, wait until like maybe now. I don't think we can pull this off, man. I think we can. Nope. Oh, Lord. Where is it going to start me? Uh, and we were so close to the end. We're really close. Oh, my God. I thought I could be free of this video game. Aww. I could taste the next project, guys! <laughs> so when we shamble again, re-shamble as it were, yeah. um, I really can't use too many energy drinks. I guess not. <sighs> oh, it started us all the way here? Yeah, it started us from our last thing. Man, um, I'm so used to Resi 2 with its auto-saving. Dude, you know in the oh, 2000s I they know. didn't have no auto-saving. So I guess we'll do like an edit and we'll see everyone again when we're um on the elevator. Alright guys, feels kind of like a funerary procession over here at no. the Beagle Rampin' Studio with our carrier thing. I don't know what's going to, what this is going to look like, but we're doing, I believe this is our fifth attempt at taking the final boss down here in Carrier. I think the fourth. Uh, the Squeak Dude thinks the fourth, but you did we've been, two we've been last at last week, and then this is your weeks, second this week. this is my second this week, so we're on our fourth, okay. Um, but we're... We're in a very bad situation. The Shambler room, he got us good. We had to use an energy drink. Mathematically, I don't know with my skill level if I can pull this off. 
Well, so, you're doing very good, and even if you don't, it's good practice. It's good practice, and y'all won't even see this attempt, so it's all good, but yeah. Now, see, if you win, you're going to have to use that. If I win, I'm going to have to use this, and yeah. And they'll be like, but, look, we are seeing this. Yeah, so then it's like, ooh, did he pull it off? It ain't likely. It, it, it just isn't likely. We don't need to see this uh, cutscene again. Damn, he's still alive! See, and like one hit from him automatically gives you a tummy hurt. Should I? Yeah. Alright, gang. Looks like we got another mystery on our hands. Why is this game horrible? Oh, you know, he does look a little like Fred. He kind of does, doesn't he? Okay. It was the gardener all along. Oh, wouldn't that be a plot twist? Get it because it's plants. Jack, Ark is not evil, and humans are not gods. Run, Jack. Go back. Take with you the warning of Ark. While I am still human. It's welding time! Hi! <laughs> Guys, I'm about to wet myself. And I had two Coca Colas. <laughs> I'm playing around with virtual machines. That's all it's fun. Okay. I'm still running. Yeah, you're good. <sighs> Lord. We're almost there. Oh my god. We've never seen the swirling light before. It's like a big target symbol. God, I miss going to target. I know, right? Okay, it, it's fading. Okay, I think it's cutscene time. Damn. 
Jack! Get back! I guess this wipes the slate clean between us. Captain! Hurry, get on! Out of all of those crew members, this is all that's left. He saved more survivors than that. What about this wipes the slate clean? over. In a few hours, the Heimdall will be at the bottom of the sea. I can see the coast. Have you heard? This area was closed off after a nuclear accident last year. There's nothing living there. Places like this are showing up all over the world. At this rate, the Earth will be done soon. We humans are destroying ourselves. All our hard work. Maybe it's best to start again from the beginning. Maybe what this is saying is not such a bad idea after all. Alrighty, everybody, that was Carrier, released in 2000 for the sake of Dreamcast. Jessifer wasn't even in the ending. I know. Yeah, come on. You want some Jessifer, you know? But yeah, so on the thing where I was like, dude, it's mathematically impossible that I would do this, I went ahead and did it. See? And I like that the welder was, like, my weapon, you know? Like, um... Yeah, so I guess it really was just, like, a timer endurance thing. Um, it went on for about, what was it, five minutes or so? Five minutes of just yeah. running around? Once you see the big target-looking circles, you're pretty much in the clear. Yeah, you still gotta, you, you're not totally there yet. You still gotta, like, uh, make sure you don't get sloppy. It's but the light at the end of the it, tunnel. It, the light at the end of the tunnel, exactly. But As Target usually is. Mm-hmm. But God, yeah. I miss Target. I haven't been to places for so long because of quarantine. But with this past week, we did have an interesting drive-in uh, concert uh, with the casting grounds. Yeah. Um... um. Yeah, there's a little drive-in up in Emilio, Ohio, which is about eh, 40 minutes away from our house. So um, we went up there and uh, grooved out to some Cast and Crowns. It's uh, Rami's favorite band. Um, but yeah, Carrier. 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 I'd say... A not good game. It no. had potential. It did, and it... I mean, we're seeing this, so that's good. I was really worried that the game would be so badly made and unfair. I wish the that... setting was more interesting. Right. The setting wasn't interesting. The characters and plot, it felt very cookie cutter. Like, oh, Resident Evil is popular, so let's make something like that and uh, cash in a little bit. Ooh, well, are we... I mean, a lot of, you know... 
great games have actually started with that mindset. This is true. I feel like even if they made the narrative shift of setting this on a luxury cruise vessel, that would have been great. Do, do don't I get like a... Don't I get an anything? Don't I get a well done, Sergeant? Like Here's what you did. Concept art. Concept art. Do I get anything? I know we um, will eventually have um, a Jessifer playthrough, but we're not going to do a full Jessifer playthrough because I think that actually will be impossible for us. Well because you said that it like it takes all of the items that, that you we were used using and mm -hmm. basically anything that you picked up as um, Jack isn't gonna be there for Jessifer. And uh, we finished this game with nothing. Our inventory was completely empty. So yeah, it's poetic that you finished it with the welder. It is poetic because that was how I did the first boss in. But ladies and gentlemen, that is our first ever completed let's play on this channel. It might be a Jessifer epilogue. Might but be a Jessifer epilogue. Kind of a I need thing. I need to look in. I would love to live stream it if I had the technical know how. Linux is a powerhouse though, so um, I don't know. But there'll be audio things to consider. Me and Squeak do we talk at different volumes and getting the in-game volume good. Oh yeah, he works all kinds of wizardry for you to be able to hear what you're hearing now. Yeah, they, mostly it's just um, going in and putting it through a compressor. But that is Carrier, a game that mm, had good moments, but a lot of the game was really 20 minutes long. And it was padded ad nauseum. See, I feel like the main reason why you feel that way is because of the setting. Not to harp on a point, but if, yeah. even if the rooms look different... That would have spiced it up a little bit. You know, like, ever since I was a kid, I always had this thing about setting in video games. Like, yeah. they never... It would bother me when a setting wouldn't look super believable, like... Okay, Ocarina of Time is, like, pretty much a perfect game, right? Mm-hmm. But it always annoyed me how when you finally get to explore the castle, when you're in, like, the dark... Not dark world, but, you know, dark timeline, I guess. Mm-hmm, yeah. How they don't have, like, chairs and stuff. They eventually improve on that in Breath of the Wild, yeah. and um, Metroid Other M was real good about that. But... Like... You're not going to have a castle without chairs. But then again, this, in terms of a big military ship, it did deliver that. All of that was yeah. kind of like how what a big, uninspired military ship would look like. But, like, but it's big settings, and uninspired. If the settings were just different, because it's like, oh, I'm fighting zombies in a hallway. And five minutes later, I'm fighting zombies in a hallway. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if, like, the room's were different and like i think there's still probably different types of rooms you could do like i don't know um exercise room they they did, did they it a little bit with room? the recreation room so they the uh, there were glimmers of effort here but by and large everything about this screamed cash grab and very padded I said some pretty harsh things that I really despise this game and that it weren't too good. I would give this game a C minus if I'm feeling happy. C for carrier. C minus for carrier. There were sometimes it really hovers on D plus, but um, C minus. But anyway, that was our first Let's Play completed on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like comment and subscribe because you're the best YouTube fans of any YouTuber in the world and we've got some crazy fun Let's Play action and other video action coming on the channel so yeah we love you guys you're the best and we can't wait to see you with some other good stuff bye, bye.